Hello everyone and be well everywhere you are. In this video I want to demonstrate how to visualize deposited particles in TechPlot software. As a matter of fact, I want to use the DPM file for illustrating deposited particles. Actually, this DPM file is obtained from Fluent Simulation of Discrete Phase Model or DPM. Okay. At first, I start with DPM file. Okay, I use Notepad++ because of the numerous number of particles. This file is huge in volume. Okay. As you can see here, these variables describe the particles which impacted the wall. X, Y, Z, U, V, and W, and other variables. Now, here we just only need x, y, and z values, the coordinates of each particle, actually the Cartesian coordinates. So, the first third columns are necessary for our works. I use Alt plus Shift to select these three columns. It is enough for our work, that is for educational purposes, but it doesn't mean you can't use other variables. For example, you can use the particle diameter variable for creating a contour based on particle diameter. Hence, I copy these three columns and open this TechPlot template using Notepad++. These are my previous data and I delete all of them except necessary elements and this is our template. For each work we need to complete this part and the number of particles. Now uh, I paste the three columns x, y and z and I equalize I equalize I to the total number of particles. Here the total number of particles is 36. It starts uh, from 6 and ends at 41. So our work finished at this part and I close this PLT template file. Now I open TechPlot uh, and in this TechPlot I import the template of particles coordinates as well as the geometry of my case. So I use load data at first i choose fluent data loader for loading the geometry of our work excuse me Uh, I should choose load case file only and this is the desirable option and again I repeat it here I select the fluent case file and I accept it
Okay, we wait to load the Fluent Case file for illustrating the elements of the geometry file. After this loading, I should load the nasal cavity.plt file for demonstrating the individual deposited particles. And again, I use the load option, data file, and at this step, I choose take plot data loader and add to current dataset and nasal cavity.plt. I enable the scatter option so for all geometry it is enabled and i turn off this option for the geometry and keep enabled for deposited particles now i select all boundaries and scatter show no The symbol shape is not good for particles in a square shape, so I change it to the sphere. For example, for outline color, I choose cyan, and for fill mode, I select a specified color. The particles are a little big in comparison to the geometry size, so I decrease its size. You can see here the deposited particles, for example, in the nasopharynx region for this specific case. You can use this procedure for every surface and every plane in your geometry that particles can strike them. So suppose that there is a plane in the middle of your geometry and particles pass through it. You export the DPM file in Fluent and you can show them in the same manner that I did here. Okay, good luck. And if there is any question, tell me in the comment section or send me an email. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice time.